Rockets and the Denver Nuggets are game of the night. Rockets win at 125-113. Uh, the stretch of 35 points. Each timeout for James Harden ends. Settles for, and I say that jokingly, 32, 14, and 5 on a big night. Uh, but enough about that. Um, our next guest... We'll find out if he's entering the three-point competition coming up in Charlotte. As we welcome in P.J. Tucker, who knocked down seven of them in 11 tries. P.J., first of all, congrats on the W. Uh, for you, talk about how good it feels. You do so many things to help out the team, but to feel it like you did from deep tonight. Man, it was a blessing. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Every night here is different. Uh, the way James is rolling, uh, you just kind of fill in spots. You know, everybody just do their job, play their role. Uh, you know, he gets it going. He gets our offense fueled. So, uh, you know, one night you might get 10, 11 shots. One night you might not give but one or two. But uh, it's just playing the same way every single game. You know, PJ, you, you've had to adjust to that in terms of, you know, sometimes you get one shot, sometimes you get 10 shots, and you've always focused on your defense, and you've always been a solid player. Uh, my question to you is, when, when all of you were down a couple of weeks ago, and you were there in 15 teams in the West, you were at 14, what did y'all do to rally around each other? What were the conversations that were had to get y'all back on track and to get everybody feeling this good and playing this well? Uh, Zeke, it's interesting you say that because uh, it's one of those things where we got a new team this year. Everybody always talk about last year. We got a whole new team this year. We got a lot of new guys. Uh, and, you know, when we got down early, uh, you know, we just encouraged all the, all, all the new guys to keep on pushing. You know, at the end of the day, uh, every time you look at games, everybody's beating everybody in the NBA early. Uh, you know, even though we were like 14th or whatever we were, we were still like, five or six games out of second and third. Like, it was crazy. So, uh, it was one of those things we just kept looking at it and just told everybody, just kept chipping away, kept chipping away. Um, and and really, honestly, all the injuries, all the things we've had going on all year, uh, we've had guys from the D-League. We've had we've had a lot of stuff going on. But everybody just came in, just came in and do what we wanted. So, uh, it's, just, it's just trying to stay focused all 82 games. It's a long season. As fans, we all watched James Harden obviously over this last month do incredible incredible things can you talk to us about as a teammate to witness that firsthand and be a part of basically history that's crazy i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's one of those things last year he he did some crazy stuff last year but uh seeing him on that streak that was that, that was amazing some of the shots some of the plays he was making uh he does a lot of that every night but you know it, it was to the max so uh it's one of those things where you as a fan you kind of i mean as, as a player you're still a fan a fan and, and the way you get to watch your teammates and somebody uh you respect and you play with every day just do something that he's doing it's incredible now, now pj you you've had a chance to play with you know arguably two of the greatest offensive players of, of this generation in terms of Kevin Durant when you were, you know, in college uh, and also now with, with James Harden. Uh, what do those two guys do in practice that we don't see uh, that, that you can share with us that has made them so effective? Uh, oh, and are there, in the sim are there similarities? Mm, that's tough. You know what? They two are probably the best offensive players I've ever – play with and against uh ever and ever seen maybe um you know one thing i will say i know jh every single day he is the last one to leave the gym like he gets his his routine in no matter we on a back-to-back -back, no matter you know uh, if he's tired if he's hurt like he gets his his routine in so those shots you see him make at the end of games and you know behind the screens and splitting people and step backs he practices that stuff every single day and i'm I'm in there with him and it's amazing and in the summertime he's doing that same stuff all the time so uh you know for me just being around him so much to see him actually do it in games i i, I know he can make it and i, I try to get him over as much as i can because i know he can do it uh just seeing him do it every single day so it's pretty incredible and katie the same way pj i gotta ask you before we let you run because you guys have so much talent on this team obviously went as deep as he did last year and it's still somehow and I, it's hard to say underrated because I know he got paid to stay with the team but Clint has a career high what 31 points tonight and I always talk about the fact that I don't think people give enough credit to all the things he does to make everybody better so for those who don't maybe understand the importance of Capella can you give us a sense as a teammate of why it's so imperative that he's a part of this basketball team it's funny. I always talk about it. Nobody talks about Clint. Like Clint, Clint is the uh, – he's the part of our team that nobody talks about, but it's probably the most important part. I mean, everybody – obviously, James does so much. Chris does so much. 
But we honestly got a big three because Clint Capella, every single night, I mean, he way he, way he monsters the boards, the way he catches our lobs, he has great hands, the way he makes plays in the pocket when they double James, uh, just makes real good decisions, his energy uh, running the floor every night. Uh, he just brings another aspect that I don't think any other big in the, in the league actually can do like he does every single night. Uh, on the way out, tougher to defend James in practice or to match up with his attire entering the arena every night? <laughs> Definitely harder to guard him in practice. <laughs> PJ, appreciate it, man. Thanks, bro. Hey, I want them shoes, man. I'm for real, Hey, man. Zeke, I'm going to keep them shoes for you. Zeke, they're yours. I'll be there my to brand. do a game. I'm going to ask you for them. I'm going to be in my locker. I'm going to be my 12-year-old self again. Hey, PJ, can I get them shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Done deal. All right, PJ, be good, man. That's PJ Thanks, Tucker. Bro. Thanks, and, and it's, it, we, This team has... The one thing you got to be fair with, they, they're resilient. You say what you want about whether or not the, they you dribble too much or you like the way they play. Everybody's got their own comment, Zeke, about how the Rockets are. They dealt with a lot of injuries. A lot of people say no. They had the whole mellow situation, which it seemed like kind of a train wreck. just didn't work. They've shown a lot of resilience, right? I know James has played great, but you look at it, really everybody's stepped up now for this team. Well, when you talk about his resilience and perseverance and you hear P.J. Tucker talk about his hard work and work ethic. A lot of times we, we sit and we watch and we just marvel at, you know, guys like him, guys like Steph, guys like Durant. But we don't see how much work they put into their craft. And to him, to hear him talk that way about James Harden, you know, because I'm, I'm used to seeing him doing this and just having fun out on the floor. But to see him, to hear him talk about how he's the first one in, the last one to leave, even on back-to-backs, getting his work in every time. He's setting a good example for that team. And as he said, we had a lot of new guys to come in, and we had to keep encouraging them. Now, if your best player isn't showing up for practice and working and setting that example in terms of a work ethic, those new guys, when you down on the bottom, they're going to have a hard time getting back up. So you have to give Harden a lot of credit for just showing up the way he practices and the way he goes about doing his business. Hey, you guys know this as stars. I mean, it's funny because I think about the handles, right? There's a lot of work in the gym yeah. you don't see, the amount of shots that are put up and all those sorts of things. And I think because of some of the brash nature of James, right? I mean, people kind yeah. of think it's, it's yeah. all show. You don't just wake up and be able to play like that, clearly. So sometimes we shouldn't but we need to almost hear it from a teammate which is why it's a good question so the people who look at it don't they think okay well he, you know he gets fouls he shouldn't get well that's great but what about all the other things he did the shot against golden state that didn't happen by accident you practice those sorts of things for that moment right well i look at it like a perfect storm i mean he has the natural abilities right. but then to put in the time and the effort and the energy to be the first one in the gym and we were talking in break it's practice yep it's practice where you gain your teammates' respects. And that's what he's done. I mean, you, you hear the way PJ mm -hmm. talks about him. In practice, having to defend him. In practice, walking in and seeing him get up, get up those shots. I mean, that's, that's commendable. And I think he's definitely put this team on his back. Because nobody expected. Seeing him doing it in the summer, he said. Yeah. Yeah. Hey,